Rural Women Cultivating Good Food for All. That's the theme for the International Day of Rural Women set to be celebrated on October 15. Established by the United Nations General Assembly in 2007, this International Day recognizes the critical role and contribution of rural women. In Jamaica, rural women have remained steadfast in sustaining the livelihood of their families and communities while putting food not only on their tables, but for all Jamaicans. PBCJ's reporter Simone Absalom Gale spoke with Moya Lewis recently as she sold her produce in Coronation Market. When you visit the Coronation Market in Kingston, you'll observe that most of the vendors are female. And a lot of them are not just vendors. They're involved in the process from planting of the produce to what ends up in the stalls. Hello, welcome to Coronation Market. My name is Moya and I'm from the parish of St. Best, St. Elizabeth, the breadbasket of Jamaica. Peanuts, cereal, and even these gully beans growing in the farm. Yeah, and um, lime grow on the farm. And these are the dry cans. Moya says growing up, she realized that farming was a constant occupation of choice in her family. So it was no surprise that she chose to do farming as well. Most of the women in my family farm, especially I have this cousin, her name is Lena. She do more than I am. Even if she give me this peanut here, Lena, she does well. This year's theme, Rural Women Cultivating Good Food for All, seeks to highlight the resilience of the rural woman and her innovation, despite being disadvantaged due to the coronavirus pandemic. We asked Miss Lewis about her experience so far. Trust me, because when you come to market, it's not like before we against boy, I'm sure I'm going to sell off. Now it's just one and few things going. Because you can see from morning, it's just one and two things going. It really affects the business in a bad way, really slow. Whenever time the goods spoil or me not selling, me make sure me give it away. It doesn't make sense to throw it away when people need it. We just have to just call it a loss. Ms. Lewis lives about three hours away from the Coronation Market. So we asked about the process of getting the goods from St. Elizabeth to Kingston. She says she reaps, packs and loads her goods on the district's market truck on Wednesdays. But a lot of Jamaicans traditionally go to the market on a Saturday. Reaping the crop is very hard, you know, but one thing I said to myself, once you start, you must finish. It is very hard and we have to transport them out to the town to get it into the bus to come to Coronation and it costs a lot. We come, we come, we come, no, we come from Wednesday, we have to prepare for Thursday morning because 4 o'clock you have to be up preparing right here and um, they have to store the goods properly because these thief will come and steal it. So we have to be careful because if you don't be careful you come out here you don't have nothing to sell. Despite the challenges, Ms. Lewis says she's not giving up and she's urging other female farmers to remain steadfast as well. I can tell them to be strong and don't sell yourself because you can work and do something to help yourself. Be strong. You don't have to beg either. Try and help yourself. Because I am here, I don't beg. Sometimes people say me rich. It's not a matter of rich as the Bible says, you must learn to satisfy and don't grudge. Just learn to satisfy with the little bit that you have. Rural women and girls play essential roles in food systems, from production to processing, preparation, consumption and distribution of food, as well as in securing household and community nutrition. The PBCJ salutes rural women who are cultivating good food for all. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Simone Absalom-Gale.